Okay, now after the cam change in the 17 wide glide here, just um, changed out stock cams and put in SNS MR103 cams, bolt in cams. The bike's previously been tuned with TTS, so now we got the uh, TTS Master Tune program open. Except, I'm going to pull up the current calibration in the bike, which I have stored on the computer. 17 Dynas. And then it's that one. Open. So then we're going to go table and go to ECM tuning constants. Then over here to cam selector. And actually. Maybe I'll turn on the EITMS on this bike now too. I always had it off before. Uh, cam selector, there. And then estimator. So then, intake opens. Here's the, the cam spec sheet. Intake opens 13 degrees. 13. Intake closes 33. And then click transfer to transfer it to the calibration. And that's it. Then we're gonna go to programming functions. Unsave changes were made. So yeah, we're gonna have to save the file. Okay. Do -do -do. I'm call it three now. Save. There. Alright, now turn on the bike. Get ECM info there, it recognizes it. And then you go program it, execute. Automatic compression re releases are on. Don't need to adjust this anymore. This is a speedometer adjustment. All done. So just have to turn the bike off and wait 15 seconds and then can try starting it. So then to do auto-tune sessions, open up the flight recorder with the TTS module connected. Next, it's a six pin, select data type. You want to get V-tune data. Next, flight recorder is ready to use. So then just leave the interface box connected to the bike and drive around and it will record data and then that gets loaded back into the bike afterwards. Okay, now that we've ridden the bike with the module attached to collect data. We've got the module connected to the bike again. I'm going to open up the VTune program. Don't show that again because I don't care. We're choosing the TTS interface as the data source because that's where the files are located. Choose the program. Uh, this is a dual TTS, so I've got programs for two different bikes on it. I just had to choose the correct one. Load the file. It goes through and reads all the recorded flights off the interface. Then can just choose uh, standard mode, that's just easier. Advanced mode brings you into uh, manually selecting all kinds of options. You can see the warning that spark assist should be only turned on after doing several runs and when the tuning is more perfected. So I'll leave that off. Fuel processing mode closed loop stock O2 sensors. It just, that's the only option that popped up because that's what's in there and it knows. Auto extend is an option where it extrapolates the data that it has collected and pushes it forward into other cells. So just leaving that on. And then it starts processing all the files in order to make an updated calibration file. In this case, the bike was ridden 220 something miles. So there's eight flights recorded. Every start 
starts recording a, pl a flight, and when you turn the bike off, then it ends the recording. So next is uh, click there to save the new calibration. And I want to save it, call this four, save. And we go back into the master tune. Pull up that calibration that was just saved. Open. Let me go to programming functions and now turn on the bike. Hit next. Get the info. Okay. Program calibration. Execute. ACRs are on. I don't need to change the speedo setting. Completed. That's it. Then just have to go back into the flight recorder, set up the interface to record another ride, and then go ride the bike some more. And keep doing it over and over until the calibration ends up satisfactory.